Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and we're doing another video on uh, routing your MIDI through the MRCC. This one's um, talking about uh, virtual instruments on your PC. If you took your Toria and plugged it uh, key, key, uh, key step directly into the PC, you would only be able to play one virtual instrument with it at a time. I think it's different on the Mac, but on the PC, you only get to connect one MIDI device to one soft synth. The beauty about running this through the MRCC is I've got a lot better control. Let's explore that. So I'm going to use this uh, five pin um, just to keep things simple and come out of the key step. And we'll plug that into four just to mix things up a little bit. Okay, so I also have the PC cable plugged into my PC. And as you can see across, where is it? Up over there. Um, I have uh, the Jupiter 8 uh, module going and the piano module going. On the Jupiter 8 I've got strings and on the piano it's just a piano. So let's go ahead and route this and I'll show you actually how to route this. Uh, before we do that though let me take one, one more second and say when I loaded the piano I loaded it on virtual cable 2 and when I loaded the synth I loaded it on virtual cable 1. So when you go into the Arturia setup and uh, on the soft synth setup and drop down the list box, you'll see that there are 12 MRCCs. So I used um, MRCC1 um, for the uh, Jupiter 8 and MRCC2 for the piano. So let's go ahead and choose four. So that's how I select the input. And you'll notice on the screen that the notes are coming across uh, and there are note on, note off events on um, channel one. Okay, so both of those soft synths are set to channel one as well. So now I'm going to go to PC. Now, not the one on the right, because that's choosing PC as an input, but the one on the left is the output. Notice it's MIDI in and out on in this section. So I'm going to choose this, and if I let it go, well, what happened? Um, well, first of all, the blue light didn't stay on, so what's that, go what's that about? And two, all 12 output lights turned on. What's going on there? Just like in the last video when we showed how to um, use virtual cables, we use those... Um, those output lights and buttons to, so that you can easily choose your virtual cables. So when I hold this down, it's waiting for me to choose and it, it lights up light blue to just remind me that I need to choose that. So I'm going to choose virtual cable one and it, it's kind of hard to see on this camera, but it lights up bright and you could see over on the screen that now I've got four routed to P01, so PC01. So if I hit a note, You can see or hear that I'm playing the Jupiter, um, and uh, it's hard to see the keys getting pressed down, but you can hear it. Now, also note if I hit the key, if I press down on the key uh, on the screen on the MRCC, you'll see the AT button. That means there's aftertouch data. Uh, that happened before, but I didn't. I didn't mention. Um, okay. Also, if I pitch bend, you'll see PB, and if I mod wheel, you'll see CC1. So it tells you um, some information about what MIDI data is being transported. Okay, so now if I go back here and I unselect one, now nothing selected. Now I'm going to route four to virtual cable two. And now you hear a piano. Okay, and that's how it should be because the piano is listening on the... Um, MRCC port virtual cable 2. So now I'm going to go ahead and I can select both of these. Again, it's hard to see with the light, but they're both selected. And if I press a note, I get both the piano and the synthesizer. Yeah, isn't that cool? So the nice thing is that if you have the MRCC and you're connecting it to your PC, you essentially have 12 selections and I could play up to 12 virtual instruments simultaneously. And again, for those who are DAW-less, this is a really nice way to use the Arturia Virtual Suite, um, which I, I uh, purchased, um, 
without a DAW and without making things complicated. You just have them running on your PC and they're just coming out, uh, all of them listening to all these virtual um, wires that you can route to on your MRCC. Hope that uh, was straightforward and not too confusing. Um, good luck with all your routing and we'll see you next time.